Well hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got another tag video to share with you and this one was started by Peony Polishes. I'll have a link for Peony Polishes down below in the description box and this is the Indie Nail Polish tag. There are nine questions. Nine. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Number one, what was the very first Indie Polish that you purchased? And mine is Nail Pattern Boldness and this one's called Flipping Out Hard. Now this one is very similar to another polish called Flom. And I don't know if I could get my hands on that one or not, but this one was the very first one I ever bought. And I'm just gonna open it up real quick and show you. It's just like yellow and blue matte glitters. It's just crazy. I remember losing my mind when this thing showed up in the mail. So I'm going to leave this out here so we got something to play with and look at. Number two, what's an indie polish lemming that you want but have never been able to get your hands on? I have two. I'm, I'm a rule breaker. You guys know this. <laughs> I have two, but they kind of go hand in hand. They're both from Dollish Polish, and it was the summer 2013 cartoon series. And the first one was called Yabba Dabba Do, and I'm going to insert a picture right here. And the second one was called You Meddling Kids from Scooby-Doo. And I'll insert a picture right here. And I just, I don't know, I watched a lot of Scooby-Doo and Flintstones as a child. So those, when, and the polishes were just spot on. So those are two lemmings that I just, I know I'll never get over them. Number three, name an indie polish you bought because of a YouTuber. Okay. I can't, <laughs> I've got hundreds of indie polishes because of other YouTubers and them talking about them. So, um, and when I give you my answer, I know you, I couldn't pick one out of the collection. It was a collection that I had to have. And um, mine is the entire A Night in Vegas collection from Pipe Dream Polish. I don't think that she's making polishes anymore. But I saw... Cor Corinne or yeah, Corinne Musser of Mucking Fusser did a water marble with it way back in September 2015, and I lost my mind. I want you guys to know I stock that website every time she restocked them, and I would have them in my cart, and I would get cart jacked, and I would be heartbroken, and I would have to wait for the next restock. I'm serious. That was the first time I ever stalked an indie brand, and it was so worth it because I finally got my hands on them, and they're gorgeous. But anyway, that's number three. I better get a move on. Number four, what is your favorite and least favorite type of indie polish? Like hollow, multi-chrome, flakies, etc. Hollow's my favorite. Hollow just makes me happy. Um, I like scattered hollow. I like linear hollow. I, I just love me some hollow. My least favorite is anything with that big bar glitter in it, and I just, I, I don't, I don't like those. I don't care who's making them. I don't like them. And number five, name an indie polish that fits your personality to a T. We're going to break out another baby. I love nail polish. The brand says what I feel. I love nail polish. And this one is called Chit Chat. I do a lot of chit chat, and you guys have watched so many of my videos. Y'all know chit chat totally got me covered. So I'm going to leave this beautiful baby right here to play with. So that is number five. Number six, what indie polish company do you wish you owned every bottle and collection from? I have, of course, going to have to break the rules on this one too because I just cannot help myself. Indie polish junkieism is a real thing. I would love to own everything that Polish has ever made and then I would also own like to own everything that Brave Diva Polish has ever made. There's I got most of hers but I've, I've missed some and um, some of them were limited and I missed them but those are the two. Number seven, name an indie polish that physically made your jaw drop when you saw it. And I didn't break it out. I need to go grab it. Mine <laughs> is a recent one. It was this year. Dragon Tears by Tonic. 
I mean, I literally, my jaw really did drop, and I could not stop looking at it. It's just the most insane polish I have ever seen. So I'm going to go grab that bottle real quick so you can take a peek see. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is just the most multi-chrome, hollow, crazy <laughs> polish I've ever had, ever. So this one definitely made my jaw drop. Okay, number eight. What do you look for when purchasing an Indy? You know, formula, color, affordability. Well, I look for all of those things. <laughs> but I guess I would have to say, you know, um, I guess mostly I look for the unusual colors. Um, because I've come to expect great formulas from indie polishes, and if I run across a brand that doesn't have a good formula overall, like if I try several of theirs and I'm not real crazy about the formula, I just, you know, I stop looking, I move on. I expect a good formula. When I'm paying, you know, ten, twelve, fifteen dollars or whatever for an indie polish sometimes, I'm definitely going to want my money's worth. So, I, I need, for me, I'm looking for unusual colors like this. And in the day, this was really unusual. And this, are you kidding? <laughs> anyway, okay, back to the last question. Number nine, what direction would you like to see indie polishes go in? <clears throat> I'd like to see indies keep coming up with, um, with products that we've never seen before. Things like this year, to me, was the year of the chrome flakies being in everything and the multi-chrome chrome flakies and you know so I like seeing stuff like that it gets us excited it gives us you know something to look forward to and um, and I'd also like to see more of the indies get together and offer those monthly boxes you know not so much that it, their subscription but you know I'd like to see them you know come up with you know the where they've got featured boxes that are, you know, polish makers that are in the box every month, and then, you know, ones where they have guest makers in their boxes. It gives you a chance to, you know, try out other brands. Um, and I really like the ones where you go, you look at the swatch photos, and decide whether you feel like purchasing that box that month. That's really nice. Um, polish Pickup, I've just made my first order with them, and they're amazing because they've got, you know, up to, you know, 60, 80, 100 different indie makers making, you know, a limited edition polish for, you know, that month. And, you know, the only thing that's bad about it is they're limited edition. You know, once they're gone, they're gone. But by offering that with all those makers, you get a chance to go and pick the ones you're truly interested in. You're not just getting a box with like three polishes and where you are in love with one of them, but the other two are just, eh, you know. So I would like to see um, things like that. I, I like where you can, you know, try a bunch of different makers and one, one stop shopping and, you know, kind of spread your wings and sample some of the other goodies out there. So that is um, my answers to all of these questions for the Indie Nail Polish Tag. I'm going to remind you, I will have a link for Peony Polishes down below. I'd love for you to go check out her channel. Um, she's, she's just a, she's, I've just found her in the last, you know, I mean, we've just started really, really chatting and stuff. I've just found her recently and, uh, you know, I've watched her videos and I love her videos. She doesn't do nail art, which, you know, that's, y'all know that's my thing. But she does talk about stamping plates and favorite base coats and top coats and brands. And she's just honest. She'll tell you if she likes something and if she don't. <laughs> so, you know, if you're looking for something like that, you really need to go check out her channel and show her some love. I want to thank Peony Polishes for inviting me to do this tag. And if you have a YouTube channel, I tag you. I tag you to do this. I'll leave the questions down below. Um, for you to go in and answer. And that is it. That's all I have for today. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.